What up Rafflitos, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're out here on Rupert Craig Highway. I want to give you the update on what's happening behind me. This is movie town. And so there's a bit of controversy that's brewing over here about the Ferris wheel, a new Ferris wheel that's been installed and the closure of um, Cosmo's Grill, Cosmo's Bar and Grill. Let me give you the rundown, right? So let me show you what's happening. So this is Movie Town here at Turkheim. It's Sunday morning. Next village over that's Pattinson. And so Movie Town was built during the pandemic, completed during the pandemic, and couldn't open immediately because of the pandemic because of uh, the restrictions due to the pandemic but what's happened in recent times is that they built this new ferris wheel so since then i actually promised to give a tour inside movie town i haven't got done so it's about five years and counting i'm probably going to get around to it at some point three years i think in counting i'm going to get around to it at some point but what i wanted to to today is talk about what's happening in recent times they built this new Ferris wheel. So this Ferris wheel was built in front of Cosmos Grill. Cosmos Bar and Grill. Cosmos Bar and Grill protested because they said that it has caused their business to decline. Now the Ferris wheel is for kids. I understand it's a very slow wheel and it costs about $1,600. That is about $8 US, 1,600 Ghana dollars, but $8 US to get on the Ferris wheel. And for some reason, Cosmos Grill complains that the Ferris wheel uh, has disrupted their business. Now there's also a merry-go-round for kids in front of, that's the front entrance of Bowie Town. I don't know if that affected their business as well, but recently they declared that it's Cosmo Bar and Grill has declared that they're gonna close because of this Ferris wheel and because their business has declined. I don't know if these two things are related or connected, but I've heard people complain about the Ferris wheel. Other people complain it's too expensive, that it's slow and so on. What I don't understand is the connection because if the Ferris wheel brings new traffic, then some of that traffic should probably end up in Cosmos Bar and Grill, but apparently that is not what's happened. What has happened though in recent times is that the owner of Cosmos Bar and Grill died in an accident right here on the Rupert Craig Highway about a mile or so down the road from here and that might have something to do with it because after the owner died the business I think was taken over by his wife and perhaps the management did not continue to make the same decisions so maybe that is part of the problem but here is the deal. Cosmos Bar and Grill closing at the end of the month because they claim the new Ferris wheel that was installed at the front entrance of Movie Town has disrupted their business. What do you think guys? Do you think this is a legitimate complaint, a legitimate concern? that movie town has disrupted business at cosmos bar and grill by installing this ferris wheel or do you think this is just an excuse to cover up bad management in their business but that's the deal guys that's the controversy that's happening here this ferris wheel is proven to be controversial because It's disrupting business in one of the several anchor stores at Movie Town. Tell me what you think, guys. Do you think that's legitimate? Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening in business here in the fastest growing country, Guyana. Later! That's the Atlantic Ocean. And there's a lot of mangrove 
bring up here.